Hey guys, what's taking place? Good morning to you, Barbados. Good night, wherever wherever you're seeing this video. Look, something is happening in Barbados, and I'm loving it. And we've been having a lot of issues with children at school and what's been taking place. And now parents group are saying there should be penalties for parents of delinquent children. A lot of people have been talking about that across the Caribbean. That there should be penalties for parents of delinquent children and i absolutely agree with them but we get into this right now parent groups back penalties for parents of delinquent children and once you're in barbados you're gonna have to let me know how you feel about this leave your comment in the section below all right so it says parental engagement organizations have joined the call for stronger measures to hold parents accountable for their children's actions as authorities consider legislation that could penalize adults for their children's misconduct. This is absolutely amazing and I agree with it at 100%. You know why? It's your child. Came from your womb. Lives in your home. You're the one who should be training your children what to do. But one of the problems that we have is that when the children goes to school, they're mingling with a whole different class of people. And then there's another school where parents are just allowing their children to do whatever they think, whatever they want to do. We've adopted the American culture. Don't touch my child. I'm not hitting my child. I'm not disciplining my child. I'm not doing anything. Leave the child alone. So we have another problem. And then there's another school where <laughs> children are having children and can't even mind themselves, train themselves. So there's so many problems with this. But I am agreeing that there's a bow time that parents will have to feel the brunt for some of their children's misconduct in school. I agree with it. I agree with it. As concern over rising youth crime and school violence continue to mount, the probation department is currently reviewing legislation to address parental responsibility with new provisions recommending that parents be held more accountable for their children's actions, according to outgoing Chief Probation Officer Denise Agard. What a beautiful day it must be in Barbados. Some people will be angry to buy this. Some people would love this. But I am quite sure that those of you who are viewing this video will comment in the section below and say, yes, let's get it done. Now, we're not saying to abuse anybody's children in school, but there needs to be proper discipline in the schools once again. We've taken up this thing from America where we said everybody has rights. Yes, they do. And we're not saying to take a strap, hit a child in the head, hit a child in the face. No, we're not saying that, but we are saying discipline must be instilled, whether in the home or in school. And because it's not being instilled anywhere, our children have gone asunder. Something must be done. This is almost like last resort we're coming up with here now. C.D. Clark, Richmond Director of Parent Education for Development in Barbados, told Barbados today that the threat of legal consequences might encourage more parental engagement. Absolutely. Some won't even care either. I think based on what is happening, we know that parents are not living up to their responsibilities. Perhaps if there's the possibility that you can be charged it might have some effect on how they involve they become she said reflecting growing concern about the lack of parental involvement in shaping children's behavior look i agree with you 100 percent if a parent know they're gonna have to pay three thousand dollars in the court every monday morning because the child decided to go to school and mash up desks and benches out of anger Absolutely, they will train their children at home. If they know that they might have to spend a night in jail for something the child did, absolutely. We have to get radical with this generation. It has become a generation of vipers. It's dangerous. You understand what I'm saying? I think based on what is happening, we know that parents are not living up to their responsibilities. Like I said before, there's a school of thought. If children are making children, that's a hard road. And then there are other parents who just allow their children to do whatever they want. They leave them up on the phone all night to talk to whoever they want to talk to, watch any kind of videos. Uh, I mean, it's just terrible. Um, go down the road, smoke a weed, smoke a this, uh, lime with the boys, late, come home. They open the door at one, they have the keys. So we are seeing a problem in society. Perhaps if there's the possibility that you can be charged, it might have some effect on how involved they become. 
She said, reflecting growing concern about the lack of parental involvement in shaping children's behavior. I agree with you absolutely 100%. Children, parents must now take blame for a lot of things that are happening with their children. Clark Richmond pointed to the increasing influence of social media and external factors on children, attributing this to a lack of parental involvement. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. Look, Clark Richmond, I could shake your hand. Let me tell you something. The increasing influence of social media, it has become destructive to this generation. It could be a force for good, but it is now a force for bad. Children are upon these things I said all night, whether it's TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Some of them, you don't even know what they're doing. I saw a 13 year old child the other day on TikTok. I could not believe the things that she are doing on TikTok. Basically almost naked and in Instagram. I, I, and I know her parents, I couldn't believe, I don't even think that they know that she is on TikTok doing that. I don't even think so. But social media have done it for our, they have turned them into vipers, a generation of vipers and external factors. What are the external factors? We have copied the American culture wholesale. The Caribbean don't have cultures anymore. You know, we don't come home with our children. We don't sit with them. We don't talk to them. We don't have dinners with them around the table. We tell them, oh, well, here's a KFC, here's a Subway. Oh, some food is there, go take it, go eat it. So the child takes the food, goes in front of the television, eat, then puts back the ways they don't even want to wash it sometime. The point about it is that the external factors have ruined this generation. It's happening all across the Caribbean. So the external factors, we don't have ring games anymore. When last did you see a family take their, um, everybody goes out and, you know, we're having ring games, we're playing moonlight games, going to the beach together, spending two hours at the beach and so nobody have no phone to meddle with. That doesn't happen anymore. Children spend all of their time on these devices and she attributing this external influence and social media to lack of parental involvement. And that's a fact. She says a lot of parents are not living up to their responsibilities. She said they're expecting school or even television and social media to raise their children. Well, they spend a lot of time in school, but let me tell you this. They meet with a lot of different children in school and these children come from different backgrounds. Some could be good and some could be very terrible. So there's a mixture and that is part of your chi child's upbringing. And then television, don't even want to talk about that because I think they've doused the television rarely. Social media is what is raising most of the children these days. All right. So get it together. That's right. Parents have to get it together. While the director hopes legislative measures can be avoided. She acknowledged that given the rise in youth violence, all options must be on the table. I agree with you 100%. She's hoping that the measures can be avoided. I don't think we can avoid them anymore. Given the rise in youth violence, all options must be on the table. I hope that we would not need to get to legislation, but perhaps it's something we need to look at. We have to try new methods of helping parents understand their responsibilities. Could you imagine your parent and somebody have to help you understand what your responsibility is? Back in my day, back in your day, because I believe a lot of folks that are in the 40s and 50s view this channel, they knew what parenting was about when they were younger. Parents are in control. They were the ones with the authority, not the children. Now the children are in charge of their parents. They tell them what should be done, not the other way around. And this is terrible. But I don't think we can avoid going that way anymore. The Barbados National Council of Parent Teacher Association supports the principle of parental accountability, but warns against the one size fits all approach. Yes, I understand all of that as well. It, it's not a one size fits all approach, but there must be different modalities as to how you deal with parents going forward if their children are out of control and parents are not taking responsibility. So there have to be different moods, different modalities dealing with this. It's, it would not be a one size fits all. That is correct. Some parents may have to see a fine in the in, in, in court. Some parent may even end up in, in, in jail for a week. Yes. It's a lot of things may happen. Some parents may even have to buy back the furniture for the school. If the child decides he's going to get anger and slam the desk and chair at somebody and it's, and it's broken in pieces, government shouldn't be buying back that. Government didn't break it up. So there are different modalities that you will have to raise to deal with this. This legislation has to be in different pieces, right? Nicole Brathwaite, General Secretary, says, we agree that some measures of legal accountability for parents in Barbados should be required, but on a case-by-case -case basis, all right? 
She also expressed concerns about the potential impact on some parents already facing financial challenges. Well, if you know you're facing financial challenges, do the right thing. A main concern for parents of consistently delinquent children, especially if they are single or unemployed, may include how often they will be required to pay a penalty for their wayward child or ward, Brathwaite said. And, that of, and that's what I said before. We have to look for different modalities of dealing with it, but something has to be done. We cannot keep going around the mulberry tree saying, oh, they will change. A lot of them will not change and their parents are not doing anything to help the situation. So something must be done. The discussion on parental responsibility legislation follows the introduction in neighboring Antigua and Barbuda, where parents can now face fines and imprisonment for their children offenses, including law entering. The Antiguan law also include curfew for minors. Something must be done. And I believe that this will be done soon across the entire Caribbean. In the island of St. Vincent, where I am from, I get reports all the time because I'm, you know, I get reports all the time that if you see what children do in these schools, and the government just have to be repairing and repairing and repairing and repairing. Somebody has to take responsibility for these things. It can't be burdened all on taxpayers all the time. Somebody will have to take responsibility. And parents, if you don't want to take legal responsibility, if you don't want the financial burden, train your children in the way that they should be. You take authority. They are not in charge. And until then, Barbados, you have a good one. And we'll talk again.